Hello and welcome to Pre-Algebra Lesson 46. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the mean, median, and mode for a group of numbers. All right, so again, the lesson objective for today is just to learn how to find the mean, median, and mode for a group of numbers. All right, so let's start out with one that you're probably already familiar with, even if you've never heard it called the mean. So the mean, otherwise known as the average, and that's probably what you've heard it as, of a group of numbers is found by adding all of the numbers for the group, then dividing by the number of numbers in the group. So it's very, very simple to find an average. All right, so find the mean. And again, you could say find the average if you want. Those two words are interchangeable. So we have our numbers here. We have 6, 12, 13, 5, and 9. So all I need to do is find the sum to start. So let's just do this using a vertical addition. I'm going to put the two-digit numbers on top. So I'm going to put 13, then 12, then we could do 9, then 6, then 5. So again, you can add in any order. I just did this because it's kind of a way for me to organize it in my head. All right, so put my addition operator out there, and let's start adding. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. I'm going to put a 5 down, carry a 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. So I've got 45 as my sum. Okay, so let's erase this real quick. And I'm just going to write here that the sum is 45. Now the next piece of information is we need to know how many numbers are in the group. So I can just go through and count. That's pretty easy. I just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five numbers in the group. Five numbers in our group. So to get the average, I just take the sum of the numbers in the group, which is 45, and I divide by the number of numbers in the group, which in this case is 5. Now, I don't need to do a long division for this. I know 45 divided by 5 is 9. So the average here, or the mean, is going to be 9. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Let's say we have 28, 34, 115, 7, 2, and then 6. All right, so let's find the sum first. And again, I'm going to take the numbers with more digits and put them on top. And again, just to keep this organized, I'm going to take and just list them in descending order, right? Starting at the top with 115 and then just moving down. So to 34, then 28, then 7, then 6, then 2. Okay, so let's start our addition. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 7 is 24, plus 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. So let me put a 2 down and carry a 3. And let me scroll up a little bit so I can put this 3 up here. And 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Then I can just bring this one all the way down, and I have 192 for my sum. So the sum is 192. Now, how many numbers do we have in our group? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six numbers in the group. So I just take the sum for the numbers in the group divided by the number of numbers in the group, and then I have my average, or again, the mean. So what is 192 divided by six? Well, I don't really work with those numbers very often, so I don't know that off the top of my head. I would need to crank out a long division. So let's do that real quick. So what is 192 divided by 6? Six? 6 will not go into 1. It will go into 19 three times. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract and we'll get 1. Bring down the 2. 6 goes into 12 twice. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract and get 0. So 192 divided by 6 is 32. And again, 192 divided by 6 is 32. And so this is our answer, right? Our average or our mean is going to be 32. All right, let's take a look at one final problem for finding the mean or again, the average. I have 125, 17, 22, and negative seven. So let's add all these numbers together. And what I'm gonna do, since we have a negative involved, let's add the positive numbers together first, and then let's do a final operation where we add the result to that negative. So what is 125? plus 22 plus 17. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 7 is 14. 4 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Bring down the 1. So I've got 164 
I'm going to have 164 plus a negative 7. So obviously 164 is larger in terms of its absolute value. So the answer is going to be positive. Essentially, I just have a subtraction problem here. 164 plus negative 7 is the same thing as 164 minus 7. So we do 164 minus 7. Borrow here. This will be 5. This will be 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. Bring down the 5. Bring down the 1. So I get positive 157 as my answer. So let's write that the sum. Let's write that the sum is 157. And then the number of numbers is four. Right? I have one, two, three, four. So the number of numbers in the group is four. So now I would just want to take that sum, which is 157, and divide by four, right? The number of numbers. Again, something I don't work with a lot, so I have to do a long division. And so 157 divided by four. 4 will not go into 1. It will go into 15 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract, we get 3. Bring down the 7. So 4 is going to go into 37 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. Subtract, and we get 1. So to continue this, I can put a decimal point and bring it up into the answer. Put a 0 here and bring that down. 4 goes into 10 twice. 2 times 4 is going to give me 8. Subtract, and we have 2. I'll put another zero and bring that down. Four goes into 20 exactly five times. Five times four is exactly 20. Subtract and we get zero. So we get 39.25. So we get 39.25 as our answer. Again, this is the mean or what we call the average. All right, so another way to think about the middle value for a group of numbers is to use the median. Now, a lot of times when you hear data on people's salaries or on house prices or things like that, things that are affected by very high and very low values, you'll hear people talk about the median. So the median is not affected by these kind of outliers, these large, large values that kind of pull your average up or these low, low values that kind of pull your average down. For example, if you thought about salaries, let's say you had five salaries and it was like 52,000. You know, let's say another one would be like 58,000. Let's say you had one that was 64,000. Uh, let's say another one was you know, 60,000. So these are all relatively close together. So your average should be somewhat representative of you know, what these values are. It would be close. But let's say for my fifth one, I throw in something like $18 million. Well, what happens is when I take the average here, I'm going to get a number that doesn't really accurately represent what the salaries are, right? It's inflated. From this kind of outlier here, this was way above what everything else was, and it pulled my average up. When we look at the median, we're going to correct for that. So we're not going to be affected by these very large or very small values. And essentially, to find the median for a group of numbers, we just arrange the numbers from smallest to largest. So the smallest goes to the left, and then we just keep going to the largest. The median is going to be the middle number when the number of numbers in the group is odd or the average of the two middle numbers if the number of numbers in the group is even, okay? And that's a lot to sink in. You might want to write that down as a note and just use it as you're practicing. But once you do a few examples of this, you'll kind of have it down. It's not very, very hard. All right, so we want to find the median in these examples. And we're going to start off with a pretty easy one. We have the numbers 3, 9, 8, 1, and 12. So again, the first thing you would do is arrange the numbers from smallest to largest. So I'd start out with 1, then 3, then 8, then 9, and then 12. Okay, so smallest number goes all the way to the left, and then we just, the next smallest, the next smallest, the next smallest, and then finally you get to the largest value. Now, we have an odd number of numbers here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers, and so the median is simply the middle number. In this case, that's going to be 8. Right, it's going to be 8. And you can tell that it's the middle number because I have the same number of numbers that come before it. Right, I have one, two numbers that come before it as that come after it. I have one, two numbers that come after it. So 8 is the middle number and therefore the median. All right, so for the next one, we have 150, 25, negative 2, 14, 18, 3, and then 9. 
So we're going to start out with the smallest number, which is negative 2 all the way to the left. Then we'll go to the next smallest. That's going to be positive 3. And then we're going to have 9, then 14, then 18, then 25, then 150. Now, how many numbers do we have in this group? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So again, 7 is an odd number. So we know that it's just going to be the middle number here. So that's going to be right here where this 14 is. I have 1, 2, 3 numbers that come before it and 1, 2, 3 numbers that come after it. So 14 is your middle number or your median. And when you get to your statistics class or if you're reading a statistics book, you might see a formula in there that tells you that if you have an odd number of numbers, the median position is at n plus 1 divided by 2. n is just the number of numbers in your group. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers in the group. So you'd replace that with a 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So essentially, you would be looking for the number that occurs in the fourth position. Well, this is the first, the second, the third, this is the fourth, and there's your median. All right, and that works when you have an odd number of numbers. All right, let's look at some scenarios where you have an even number of numbers, and you're going to see it's a little bit more tedious. So we have negative 2, 4, 6, and 5. So to arrange the numbers from smallest to largest, I need to flip the order here. I'd have negative 2, 4, 5, and then 6. Now, there is no middle value here. right? If you kind of look, okay, 4 looks like it's kind of in the middle. It has 1 that comes before it, but 2 that comes after it. Then if you look at 5, okay, that kind of looks like it's in the middle. 2 that come before it, 1 that comes after it. So neither, neither of those is going to work. And essentially what you need to do is just treat these two numbers here, 4 and 5, as if they're in the middle. Okay, 4 and 5 as if they're in the middle. And you can see you have one number that comes before and one number that comes after. Now, because it's two different numbers here, what they want you to do is find the average of those two numbers, right? Kind of the average of the two middle numbers. So if I average those numbers, I would just sum 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9, and then I would divide by 2. What is 9 divided by 2? 2 goes into 9 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract and get 1. Put the decimal point there and bring it up. Put a 0 and bring it down. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract and get 0. So the average of these two numbers, 4 and 5, is 4.5, and that's your median. Your median is 4.5. Again, the average of the two middle numbers. All right, let's look at one more here. We have negative 8, 14, 2, 155, 30, 7, 5, and negative 2. So again, I'm going to arrange the numbers from smallest to largest. So negative 8 is the smallest, then negative 2, then positive 2, then we'd have 5, then 7, then 14, then 30, then 155. And if you count the number of numbers here, again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So again, it's an even number of numbers. There is no true middle number. If you kind of think about it, okay, well, if I have eight numbers, that means that kind of these two numbers here that occupy the fourth and the fifth position. So this is the first, the second, the third, and I'm kind of messing up the writing on this. So let me kind of make that clear. So the second the third, the fourth, and the fifth. If you look at these two numbers, you have three numbers that come before and three numbers that come after if you just kind of block those two off. So those are your two middle numbers. They're your two middle values here. And you just want to average them to find your median. So you would add 5 plus 7, you get 12. Divide that by 2 and you get 6. So the median here, again, is the average of the two middle numbers, and that's going to be 6. All right, let's talk about probably the easiest one to find. And this is called the mode. So the mode for a group of numbers is the number that occurs most often. That's it. You just have to find the number that occurs most often in your group of numbers. And it's important to note here, let me highlight this, that we can have more than one mode. So if you had a group of six numbers and each number appeared three times, let's say you had something like, I don't know, three, 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 seven, 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 the mode here is both 3 and 7. Right? You have two modes because each number, 3 and 7, both appear the same number of times. And so you would have two modes. It's different than if you had something like 3, 3, 4, 6, 8, 2. Here, the number that occurs most often is 3. And so you have one mode, just 3. 
right? Three occurs twice. Every other number occurs just once. All right, so we're going to find the mode for each group of numbers. And basically, you just look through the numbers and see what occurs most often. So you have 82 and 86, 104, 82 again, 75, and then 30. So your mode is 82. The mode is 82. And why is that the case? Because 82 occurs twice in this group of numbers, and each other number occurs only once. So again, the mode is the number that occurs most frequently, and 82 occurs twice, whereas every other number occurs only once. So that's why our mode is 82. All right, here we have 103, 27, negative 4, 2, 27, 3, 2, 27, and 104. So I know 103 only occurs once, so I'm just going to kind of cross that out. That's not the mode. 27 occurs once, twice, three times. And let me use a different color here. Negative 4 only occurs once. 2 occurs once, twice. 3 only occurs once. 104 only occurs once. So the mode here is going to be 27. You have one, two, three occurrences. Two came close. It had two occurrences, but three has the most, and so that's the mode. So your mode is 27. Okay, for the last one, we have 333, 75, 81, 75, 621, 79, and 333. So you can see here just by eyeballing this that you have 333 and 333. You have 75 and 75. So you have two modes here. 333 and 75 each occur twice. Everything else occurs only once. So we'll say that there are two modes. And those are 75 and 333.